When I was courting my wife, she was a Navy user. She told me that uh, she had seen in a vision how that God wants her to run a school in the future. So I gave her a promise that I'm going to build it for you. And when you start a relationship, don't be quick to promise people. <laughs> I said, oh, I'll do it. So while I was working in the oil industry, even though I didn't have what it takes to build anything, but I could buy the land. I had, I had what it required to buy the land. So I bought a lot of land until I bought all the land that my landlord had. Because he said, I should just be releasing money. So I'll release, I'll bring the paper and sign. I'll release. I'll release you, check and sign. You'll count and say, okay, it's complete. And one month, I didn't, I didn't release money. Say, ah, neighbor, you're not, there's no alert. I said, the land has finished. It's a, yeah, the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I had was land. And it came to pass when a strange president became the president of Nigeria and he had no minister of finance for six months. And the naira dropped so drastically that it was 500 naira to one dollar. That was when I was praying early in the morning. Meanwhile, I've saved nine million. Then the great one now said, "Build." Wait now. He said, "Build." So I told my wife, the great one has spoken that we should commence build. So I called the engineer because I saved nine million and I felt nine million was big money. I put my hand in the pocket, went to the site. It's all right. An office should be here. This is the crutch area. And this side will be upstairs. Do you know that that nine million, the, the, the thing didn't come from the ground. It was underground. It was underground. The moment, because when they say, bring the iron rods at the bot. He said, the thing has tripled now. Naira has died. In fact, one day I wanted to drive everybody from the site and that, that they said, no, it's not, we are not stealing your money. This is how much what you gave us can buy. I fell from faith that that project, it was in the environment of that strange shock realization, shocking realization that my friend that was that had a PhD in quantity of surveying who said well, I should bring the plan she will calculate how much it will take the PhD in in, in quantity surveying and when the report was ready sent it back it was 100 and something and is it and 10 million guess what the faith died and in the dream God came and said there shall die he said, are you aware that before I started creation, I was broke? Wait, wait. Before I started creation, I was broke. I didn't have money, but I finished. I started broke. Huh? Broke? Yes. This is his appearing unto me now. You see, the, 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 the essence of his appearance is so that he can get you to believe. For Abraham, there were dead things around him. So he came and introduced himself as the God that raises the dead. As the God that called those things that be not as though they were. For me, he came and said, I didn't use money. I was broke when I started. Yeah, that's true. You were broke. You had no money. And I remember that I had $2,000 in my dorm account. I went to First Bank and asked them to give me my tutor. They said they have only $500. That the remaining $1,500 is in Boko. So I took $500 from the whole of First Bank in my court. It was $500 they had. They gave me $500. I traveled for 48 kilometers to Boko to, to get $1,500. I thought that if we change that one, it would change anything. When they brought, it means I've not yet understood the election. He came again and said, I was broke. 
I was broke when I started. But on the sixth day, it is not just 24 classrooms I built. I built the entire expanse of the invisible and the visible realm. You are laboring to build 24 classrooms and you, it's not you. He kept doing it until I believed. The moment I believed, I began to spend from the central bank of the grace of God. You see, he said he designed it to be by faith so that it can be powered by the currency called grace. You are too busy. It is your, your strength. You believe you are so strong. That's why you are here. That was how that building started going. Sources I never knew existed. Is that a good? Meanwhile, my other brother is a manager in share. He has not been able to roof his house in Lokoji. So I sent the picture of where we were with the school to our family platform. Then I got an invitation to London. I went to preach in London. That was when COVID started. So they had bodyguards to be following me around so that nobody will be tempted to shake me because I'm not used to not shaking. So while we were in the car, they had called an Uber to take me to the hotel. The woman now cried, cried, cried. So the bodyguards too, they were weak. They now, I know. I went, I went down. I was wondering what was troubling her. What was troubling her was that here she I went to visit her. That she should empty her palms. It was not that she had an affliction for which she wanted me to pray for. She wanted to obey a strong hand that gripped her. The palms that lady gave me, when I came back and I changed it at a ridiculous rate anyway, not the, not the best rate. Do you know that that thing moved? I said, eh? And there was no plan for that. I didn't know there was a. It was Jehovah himself that went and troubled the woman. Are you with me? Oh, from that meeting, people started calling my personal assistant. Say, you blessed us. You blessed us. You blessed us. Grace had gone into action. So all I was doing was receiving and saying, Amen. Amen. Then the Lord will come again and say, Okay, send one million to that brother. Are you with me? Quickly, because all these ones I didn't know existed. So I, I sent quickly. After sending, he said, Send one million to this preacher. That one is starving. Then I will, I will send like four million. Then there will be silence. Then next week, another person that watched that tape said, Are there still men of God like you? But after two weeks, when I put the, the, the picture of the building there, my brother in said, Hey! Because he he used to believe that he's the richest, you know, you know, if he doesn't move, nothing happens. He's not been able to roof. The engineer now came to me and said, uh, Oga, we have reached that part of the building that we cannot pay small, small again. It's the roof. We need to buy the whole roof. I said, how much is it? We bought it. And by the time we finished roofing, I put the picture there. So my brother now acknowledged that. There was, there was something. If there was anybody that, that believed he had money, that, my brother. And before you call him, before you come visit him, you have to call him. His wife will approve, so we don't call him. And the Lord raised that building. When I stood on the second floor, it's not, it's two floors. When I stood on the second floor, I told Satan, I said, Satan, this thing now is in the physical realm. You can't steal it. Grace paid. Are you with me? When we finished building, I told my wife I kept my promise. I thought that was all. Then I started seeing visions of the project we are doing now. When they drew the architectural design, I thought it was just a small fine place. I didn't know that it was 4,500 capacity. I didn't know. I couldn't tell. We had only 12 million in the, in the, in the account. Then I had lent El Shaddai. I wanted to know if he was the one that wanted us to build. So we knew that. So we now deployed the first 
10 million. No. First 12 million. When we deployed that 12 million, I came to the pulpit to preach. And I preached that day. As I've been preaching for years, for 14 years, I preached that day. Someone called and said, Where are you from? They have been here, Lebron. Sent one million. Preached the second day because it was COVID, so we couldn't go back to work. We we're working from home. The borders of the states were closed. That was when you prophesied to me. This man, this man. <laughs> This man called me and said, May God bless him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, The bottom line, let me not tell you what he said, but the meaning of what he said is, It is time for you to start preaching now. Yeah. It's okay. On the seventh day of that preaching, police came to arrest me. I said, I've broken COVID. So we invited the police to come in. The one in our state is, if it's a if it's a call like this, the minimum should be 30. We were 15. About seven of them were in the console room managing the video. They were not even the hall. Those of us in the hall were like eight or thereabout. So what law did we break? He insisted that I must be arrested with handcuffs. So one of my pastors now said, if you are looking for who to arrest, take me. I should continue my preaching. From that day that they arrested that pastor, if I preach, the offering will be one million. I preach tomorrow, it's one million. I preach it's next minute, one million. I preach it's one million. I preach it's one million. On the 26th day I preached, it was 11 million that as offering. Not from the people I was pastoring, from where I don't know. You know, do you understand what I'm talking about? I'm talking about we were spending from the central bank. I saw an alert from one million, two, three, four, five, six. I saw ten. I saw 25, I saw 50, I saw 80, I saw 90, I saw 109, I saw till it became 200. And on the 80th day of the preaching, meanwhile, the police came again to arrest. This time, this time, you will be arrested. There were only five people in the hall. <laughs> only five people in the hall, but they were, they said they got information, reliable. I saw, I come inside. He came and saw five people inside with handcuffs. He said, okay. The problem now is that he spent his own personal money to come here. And he must arrest our own but because he spent his own personal money. So we now gave him the money he spent. And then the transport to go back to where he came from. So that, that preaching you say I should preach, it was not without challenges. In 80 days, we had raised 200 and something million. So we now started building the place. That was when I discovered that the foundation alone was 55 million. But you know, I'd gone too far. We we're already running on the tightrope of grace and, and becoming used to it. And I stood again on that foundation and told Satan, this one is no longer in the spirit realm. That was how supplies broke out. A time came, CBN came up with a rule. A rule that stopped it, it, it ran for one for one month, two weeks. It stopped our foreign brethren from being able to send money to us. That was when I discovered that we have opened a domiciliary account that nobody gave into. For the past five years, it was dormant. I went there and applied for them to reactivate it. So that was what we now put there. God changed our economy from the Naira economy to the dollar economy. So we thank God that CBN obeyed Satan. To do that this is a live testimony I'm telling you know I was in the oil industry so I know that they buy crude in dollars so we now had people that wanted to buy dollars so as the thing if it gets filled up the marginal sales is 50,000 the credit you in Iran. I mean such foreign exchange possibilities that is not in the black market. This building began to the roofing is 56 million. 
the sound 87 million the multimedia screen 45,000 US dollars the state line 45,000 US dollars the state 6,700 US dollars the rock 20,700 20 million 700,000 because the naira was unpredictable we had to pay at once because if you don't they will give you the price as at you understand what I'm, you you are a bank you understand what i'm it was no longer we left the regime of the strength of man and we began to see what grace can do i am i am giving this testimony for the first time for a reason before i left makodi to come to lagos it was 748 million even the governor's building is on hold his own the one the governor he had to send his spies to the building to ask who are the people doing this in this economy 748 million so it is more than that now because when i came to lagos we had to still make some payments so i've lost count of current figure the AC 40, 43 million central AC system. They have forgotten the ceiling. Then the parts for the roof so that it will not be hot. We can change the, which is also an acoustic, you know, material that will blot out echoes. I saw God a way I've never seen him. So I tell you, to operate by grace is better. So when you were talking about power, that there's a power, God ministered this to me, that the day where you will see the work of the grace of God, that's the season that you're coming. Amen. Politicians in our state that will never go to church because they are idol worshippers, they have their shrines in their houses. That project has attracted all of them. I appear unto your ancestors as they shall die. He appears to you now as the El Shaddai. He calls you into a walk of faith and the currency of the grace of God is going to be unleashed in such a measure that will make people that have sought your downfall to tremble. Amen. Many people that be that have spoken behind you that you are too bold, you are too forthright, you are too disciplined, your values are extreme, will be humbled in the days that are to come because God is going to power your efforts with the currency of the grace of God. Father, I pray for this congregation. I ask, oh God, that your grace will become a commodity that will sponsor destiny, Amen. that will sponsor their homes, Amen. that will sponsor their affairs Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are still with me, it is time for us to pray in tongues in a moment. That's the message you put upon my heart. That the regime of grace begins. Mosaico, Santoria, Platabala, Masketolia. The things you have been doing all the while that nobody noticed. They will make people to notice it. People will be blessed by it. They'll be transformed by it. And they will stand with you to raise your hand. The regime of grace. The regime of grace. Oh, my Ecoskeso Salamantalia. Recose Kobande Kura Mahasi, Brontes Kapai to Kopela Maya Kute Balatuala, Shakon Brekenda Sika Maka Balaito, Shema Seli Kobresko Falatula Bakabelaita, Iska Mamaya Kombela Sila, is a regime of the grace of God. 
is a regime of the grace of God. God himself will be the one that will enthrone you by himself. He's the one that will advertise you by himself. He will cause people to supernaturally stumble on your products and they'll be interested to stand with you because the grace of God goes to work in this company.